Hey, what's up, Reefers? This is almost the second weeks. Almost the second weeks, and I actually have a couple, a few of you guys watching this happening. Let me see who's here. Say hi to your future self. Oh, they're not gonna see this until 30 seconds later. Oh, there we go, there we Yay. go. Say what's up. All right, so this is gonna show up this Sunday. All right, back here. Back to the vlog. Uh, basically, this is uh, my huh, fifth attempt trying to catch you by color Blenny. Flashback. Like, they have to feel safe around the area. Oh, the, the clownfish is in. They have to feel safe. But that, see, the bicolor Blenny is so cautious. Why? See, the clownfish is in there already. He, is, he doesn't yeah. care. So I'm hoping that those fish will see that it's safe to go in and start going in. I'm surprised that Chromis, the one that I'm trying to catch, is not going in. Usually it's really bold. So this, this trap takes a little patience. Last time it was like this too. That's how he trapped me. That's how I trapped Emily. Yes, I put some <laughs> flick food in my house and just kind of came in. <laughs> really quickly, really easily came in. They caught her really quickly. She was hungry. Well, he is so confident that he can catch the fish today. We will see. I feel it. Today is the day. They were gonna catch you by a color bloody. Uh, simply because I've been sick again with flu 2.0 and I have not fed the tank for the last three days. As you can see, I hardly even moved the trap. I did move it down here, but I've loved it here since. And al algae or algae, if you're from UK, has been growing on the trap. And I have not been able to scrape the tank uh, because the magnets used to hold the fish trap in place. But here we go. We got some of my favorite flake food, Prime Reef, not sponsored. This guy has been wrecking havoc. Um, I saw him biting the other SPS, not the Monty, but the green one. And I saw him um, actually picking at the uh, Christmas tree worm rock right in front of my face. I'm like, what? Here it is. This is it, guys. Reef squat, this is it. Fingershim, get out of the way. What are you doing? <laughs> Bye, Cutter Blenny. Go. 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 It's only a matter of time. Look, he is already so bold. Oh, he's on the outside. He's on the other side. He sees it. He sees it. He sees all the fish going in and out. I should live stream this. <laughs> totally. Yeah. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. I mean, after this round, all the fish are probably It's full. higher. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. He's smart, but it's a matter of time. One or two more days. Trying again. But this time I moved the trap a little bit lower, um, so it's a little bit closer to where the bicolor bunny lives, even lower than before. So let's take a look. And the shrimp is already coming in the container. Okay. A little shrimp is there. Uh, there's the bicolor bunny again. I'm gonna stay away from the container. Dude, everybody's in there. Are you kidding? Mm. Everybody. Oh, he went in. Oh, ah! he didn't come loose. Shit. All right. I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna catch every fish, single fish in there at the same time. In this train. Do the inside with you, got them. So this is what happened. 
after a <laughs> week of setting a trap, finally went in. As I was celebrating like a madman. Yeah, man, tell as them. As I deserve to be. No. Nope. I accidentally pressed on a string and released I the trap. I told you. And it pulled it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, f it now. No f way. Where is it? No f way. I think it is so scared. It went inside oh, there. One of the five things that you should not do. But you know what? Reef squat. <laughs> we bounce back quick. We've done it once, we'll do it again. <gasps> Just like how I beat Dino LG once, I beat it twice. <laughs> by Lenny. We caught him once, we'll, cut, we'll catch him again. End of flashback. I was a little bit prematurely celebrating and I fuzz things up. I figure I need to be easy. I need to channel some of CJ's. He is the undisputed fish catcher up to this point. I need a little luck from CJ. That's why I'm wearing his shirt, trying to get some of that little thing to rub off on me. So let's get to it. Hey, what's up, Reefers? Thank you to Marvin's recommendation. So during my road trip, I stopped by Absolutely Fish. It's absolutely nuts here because there's so much to see. Everything's really laid out beautifully. Lots of variety. So let's take a look and see it. black tang in this tank, how awesome it is. But the star of this tank is absolutely this guy right here. I can't pronounce the name. I think it's like conspicuous or something like that. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of you guys know what exactly this angel fish is. $4,000 right here. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful French angel. Large dinner play size. I would love to get a tank that could keep one of these guys in the future. Wow, beautiful. Stop it. I actually had a Niger trigger way back when I was at 65 gallon tank. Love this fish. I just love how the fins move. Really, really cool. Uh, eventually, I would love to have a trigger fish. Uh, the trigger fish I actually want to keep in the reef is actually the uh, uh, humu humu. I hope I pronounced it right. It's actually the Hawaiian state fish. But the fins is transparent versus the uh, Niger Trigger is blue, it's more obvious with the undulating. So I'm kind of torn. They're both, they're both kind of a reef safe with caution. Uh, this one is a little bit more safer, it is a little safer, but I, I would be willing to try either one in a reef. So guys, like I mentioned, a lot of these tanks are so well done. They're super clean, less start from the alcove. To the left side, we got a mixed reef with SPS up here and then we got some nice LPS. Look at that gold wall hammer. Gold torch and then slide on over we got some neon, neon green torch. This is bright. And we got some really nice SPS up here as well. And just going right here, we see pretty nice size colony on sale here. So it's not all frags, which we will go to in a little bit. And check out this guy. I feel like it's crazy that I actually see a reef, uh, the reef lobster in a reef. It's looking for food, it's hungry I guess. This is just wild. Check out this really cool shark right here. Although what's more cool than the shark are actually the lionfish. I'm big fans of lionfish even though they're considered an invasive species, but look at these black lions. Super nice. 
Look at this giant. I like all these little oh my yeah, goodness. It's ridiculous. Loser paper. Oh my I like goodness. I will need him Gaston. Oh man. Let me out. That's crazy. So really cool. That is a blue spotted jarfish. They love to dig tunnels and they are they're known to jump. That's why they are in one of these uh, little specimen container right here. So they can be easily caught and found and they don't jump out of the tank because they are pricey. They are around like 80 or 90 bucks per fish. Guys, check this out. We got a grumpy frogfish in the back that's turning his back towards us. I believe that is a painted frogfish if I'm not mistaken. Really cool guy. And just a lot of yellow tanks. I think they're probably stashing up on yellow tanks due to the band because look at this. It's talking about the Hawaii fish band. All right guys, so unfortunately I arrived maybe like half an hour before they have to close the store, but they're super kind saying that I can just do whatever I want. They still be closing, uh, it'll take a little bit for them to close up. However, uh, I don't want to keep them Super Bowl weekend, so we're gonna start heading home. So check this out, we are at Mighty Nano Tank's special corner and Emily approves. <laughs> 